Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we did some busy work. And this time we're going to the old schoolhouse. Gotta put a team together. Okay. Definitely Fee. I liked using her. You're coming along because I'll need a heavy hitter. Gonna need a dedicated healer. You and you. Okay. You two can focus on your. You three can focus on your studies and your club activities. Okay, so don't link Laura and Fee. Gotcha. Get everyone some rest. Make sure they're up to snuff. Onward. Good. One that's far more linear this time, but I'm guessing it's going to revolve around these connecting corridors. Rush link attack. Cool. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Did you just instant kill me? I don't like instant kill! Why do things kill me have an instant kill? I, 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 I don't understand the reasoning behind that. Is it some kind of quota? Let's let guys have some fun. And the bridge. 
courageous move. Okay. I'm connecting the dots here. There's that thing again. That's by treasure. The wind's behind us. Let's go. Okay. Flames, scabble on my plate. I am not dealing with this. On a game that's supposed okay. to revolve around now. strategy, enemies that just have an instant kill attack can fuck right off. Because you can't prepare for that. You just have to get lucky. That is poor game design, and I'm going to call the game out on that. This looks like a nice spot. Black and fish here. <laughs> Perhaps when all the enemies are dead. still seem to have a ways to go. It's at least much clearer on what I'm supposed to be doing. Except this time the path seems pretty damn direct. Oh, the treasure chest! <laughs> Smoke. This is a dead end. Smoke. Got a level? Success. B. Good. Are you smoking yet? Nice. For Gaia, <laughs> I did it. Elle, Not bad. Laura, nice and Elisa.
doesn't seem like what I was supposed to do. It did open a way to a chest, though. Treasure chest. Shit. There seems to be a treasure chest here. It's a monster chest, too. Wins, give us your blood. Of course. My turn! Flames, gavel on my- It's my turn! It's my turn. My turn. Seriously. Leave it to me. There. Ha. You still have a lot of training to do. Better be something good for that. Arius. I don't know if that's any good or not.
Link up between Laura and Elliot. And this will be to the depths. Hello, <laughs> boss. We appear to have reached the exit. fucking bosses at one time. This looks tough. Careful. Oh. I am fighting My three turn. at once. There you go. You'll be dead. Those and Elliot can't switch out Elliot or Laura. That's not good. Target locked. Go.
careless. Careless. Well, you just burned to death. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, so this is gonna be tricky. I'm not giving up though. And let's try it again. I'm so oh, there go my heavy hitters. Fuck! Okay. I was careless. It's down. Finally. Third time charm. You still have a lot of training to do. Done. back to the surface and call it an episode because it's nine o'clock and I have work in the morning. Well, it's almost nine o'clock. And I'm locked out of this chamber so I can't further explore it. Let's finish up. I'll be cutting out battles. Speeding them up is just not necessarily tedious in my editing, even though it kind of is. But it's just pointless. A gladiator headband. Cool. One additional bonding point. Let's use it. Emma. Who else would I spend time with? Where is she? Second floor, maybe? Yep, there she be. Sharp cookie. Sharp cookie. Sharp, you're sharp, you're a smart cookie.
He's embarrassed. Almost level three. Did you just get back to? Sarah. Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you yeah. spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Why ain't that the truth? Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. I really appreciate your sarcasm, Rain. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? Of course it did. As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. Unforgettable is not necessarily a good thing. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. You're full of shit. But I'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor, innocent heart. Oh, my poor, innocent heart was corrupted a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I almost want to believe it, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night, then? <laughs> Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. That's that's kind of the job of a maid. She's the a, a maid is a housekeeper, cooks, cleans. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. Typically, hire them on higher class, business class because they throw themselves into their work. They don't have time to come home and cook and clean. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. Yeah, maybe she would if you asked nicely. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Welcome back, Master Veen. Lady Sarah? Master? Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the Master Veen stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the Maid's Code of Honor. There's a maid's coat of honor. I know it's part of your job to address the master and the lady of the house as such, but I just live here. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? Master. Is Whoa! Fine. Not in front of the teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you, courtesy of the Reinford family. You're adorable. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. She wants beer, ice cold beer. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. They know each other. This feels like a good time to make my exit. They know each other. Hmm? This looks like... Hey, a smash invitation! No, it's from Elise Schwarzer, presumably his sister.
Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer. <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? Oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. I'm guessing the girl on the right is Baron Schwarzer's biological daughter. <sighs> I really should write back to her. And to mom and dad, for that matter. I think someone butchered his biological mother. There was definitely blood on his face as he looked at somebody clutching a machete. Misty here, filling your speakers with wit and charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. I really need to end the, the episode. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. It's not so bad being in your room on your time off. I mean, I'm recording this right now on my time off. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Sounds fun. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. Also just sounds like Mardi Gras. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? Practical exam day. God bless it all. Lunch break. Seriously, I've been going over an hour. I know a lot of I know the battles are gonna get cut out, so. <laughs> VV, Rex, Becky, other students are not. I just got it out. V Crosswell was in the top hundred. 544. Rain in the top 50 was 718. Elliot in the top 30 with 800. Nice. Oh, didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. Machias and Emma. Tied, dead first, god damn. 975 apiece. Oh, and Gaius in the top 20. And Laura in the top 50, in the top teens. Nice. I can't believe Emma and Magius tied for the top score. I can believe it. Oh, and what's her name? Reinford, uh Elisa Reinford, top ten with 924. Uses in the top five. 
Congrats, Machius. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Eusis. Though I kind of expected you to score higher than you did. Eh, top 50 ain't bad. That makes two of us, man. Well, I got one wrong answer. It's okay. I didn't do so well either. <laughs> I did better than you. You did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. I was expecting a little better performance from a certain someone, though. <laughs> Rain. Come on, I'm in the top 50. I got <laughs> one guilty as charged. I need to kick my study habits into high gear next time. I got one question wrong. We'll have to see if we can storm the gates of the Tower of Knowledge, Fee. That's just because it was w worded strangely. Yes, if I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! I'm in the third average. It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. No, no, no never mind. I'm just dumb. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Well said. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself. Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip hip hooray. You are so uninterested. Oh, it's the pomp. How humiliating. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? Fuck you. And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. And here's the practic exam. Practical. Whatever. Well, aren't you all the overachievers? Congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, bonus. you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, always <laughs> chomping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he's telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'm marrying my foot to your face, jackass. <laughs> I like her. <clears throat> Anyway, <laughs> is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? Bring it on! I'm fully prepared, Instructor. <laughs> I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Bring it on! This thing again. Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Not really. Hold on. It does resemble You noticed it. too, huh? Yeah. Color's different. Shape's different. Yet it seems similar somehow. The material. That's what's similar. Maybe... The body shape is also similar. Is something wrong? No. Here they go again. Now I'm going to clean up their arguments. Hey. Well, doesn't this look like fun? Patrick, what are you doing here? 
Class one? What are they doing here? My thoughts exactly. We are in sync. We are in sync. Blue hair slightly out of sync. Fuck to you, what do blue we hair. owe the pleasure of this visit? Class one's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. No, it wasn't. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange. If you will, class seven that seems to be the talk of the school. Is the weapon that you should be using? And we'd simply using. love the chance to get a little better acquainted. A fencing saber. A exchange. Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Suck my balls! Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? Oh! Are you human? I just assumed you were just the slimy white shit off your father's boot that wiped off on the mat. We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class 1. I will mop the floor with Allow you. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. Oh yes, you're clearly dignifying yourself here by being a fucking POP! <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? You little pieces of- Cool your jets! They're just trying to goad us into a fight! I want to fight them! I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well! Looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four with both arts and item use allowed. Reen, you'll be squad captain. So choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. I'll be doing that next time. Join me then on Trails of Cold Steel as I do this. I'll, I'll figure out what I'm what I'm actually going to do with this. You are behind. You two are behind in levels. I'm gonna want a healer. So that's me. This one. Thank you for all for watching. Signing off.